All right, Tom. Hey, what do you we're have back. going on this week? We are back, and oh you got to tell God, me. Oh my God, I'm ready to happen. run. <laughs> and uh, so look out for me. But anyway, uh, yeah, we've got the Marathon Seafood Festival this weekend taking place and right now. And it's a huge event. You know, being in the Middle East, people come from both ends and meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> it's a good way. To and uh, <laughs> and Daniel Samus with the Marathon Chamber reigns supreme up there mm -hmm. for that thing. Yeah, that's their big event of the year. Mm -hmm. And so they they love that. And uh, do you have a favorite? Seafood, Tom? Uh, well, I see food and I eat it. But uh, you, know. <laughs> you see food and you eat it. That's mm. good. <laughs> There's also some, some good, good jokes about semen, but uh, that, those are sailors. But uh, you know, I won't go there. But uh, anyway, uh, I love all seafood. I really do. Okay. I particularly love stone crab claws. Mm. You might have seen my pal Nick Carter and I chomping down on some stone crab claws in Kong Color <laughs> recently. And uh, but I also love lobsters. Uh, my new Sirkel picks lobster a couple of nights ago. And then uh, a new big thing is Wahoo Shashimi. My hmm. Raquel speaks in that too. That's really good stuff. But no, I love seafood. I All said, right. Well, Yellowtail, you, oh my God. You know. Uh, <laughs> you better go to the seafood festival then, Tom. Don't miss well, it. Well, you know, I smell it now. <laughs> or is that what you got on what? Uh, they, uh, it's my perfume. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> All right. And along with um, the seafood festival, it's important to note that the American Cancer Society is celebrating their 100th yes, year. Yes. Carrie Hellison will be reigning supreme at that ball. And uh, I will be there taking pictures. And it's always a wonderful thing because we get to see and hear from some people who have fought the great battle of cancer mm -hmm. and won. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I love hearing success stories. Oh, absolutely. It's inspiring. It is. It is. It and helps you continue. You know, anybody who hears that story and they're mm -hmm. fighting cancer themselves, to mm -hmm. hear that, it helps them fight their battle and exactly, continue to, exactly. to win it. Exactly. People have made it. And, you know, and there's so many ty kinds of cancers. So many women have bravely fought breast cancer mm -hmm. and uh, men have fought uh, uh, prostate cancer and I mean those are two of the more common ones you hear about and then of course if people who smoke get lung cancer you know, right you know. well and thankfully mm. we have an organization like the American Cancer Society that can hopefully one day maybe create a world without cancer mm -hmm. well you know the big thing is cancer research always needs more funding mm -hmm. and it's always disappointed me that you know with, uh, I guess you know a million deaths a year from cancer mm -hmm. in the United States why aren't we spending more money on cancer research, mm -hmm, you, know? Mm -hmm. um, you know? We need to. I think that needs to be mm -hmm. prioritized. Hello. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll uh, make it a priority this weekend to attend mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the ball at the Marriott Beach. I'll Simon. be there, and I think uh, the Blonde Mafia is going to be with me. <laughs> I'll be there, be too. Well, Jenna it's, it's a great and cause. Jen <laughs> and uh, Raquel and Lourdes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole, man. How did I deserve all these beautiful women? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, then I'll, of course check out your local theater because lots of stuff going on. As we mentioned earlier, the Drowsy Chaperone will oh, be playing yes. this weekend. And then the new Red Barn show starts next week, and uh, you know they always put on a great, great show. And the uh, seminar is now ongoing with Fringe. Mm -hmm. and, Mike, uh, Mon Monty called me today, and she's already uh, working on the new show. Right. And uh, yeah, it's so, definitely worth worth it to see seminar Mike Mulligan his performance mm -hmm. it will have your mouth dropping right yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And symphonies coming up, Tom. I know that symphony is always something that you yeah, get well, really I'm active in. Yeah, well, I'm the grandfather, the great grandfather <laughs> of symphony. But anyway, uh, we have the fabulous Zul Bailey, mm -hmm. the top cellist in the world. In fact, if you ever look on the record charts, which I do because of Nick and Aaron and all that, but anyway, on the classical charts, Zul Bailey reigns supreme. He has always got two or three of the top selling classical albums in the world today. Really? And he's just amazing. I mean, and back in the early days of the symphony, he would stay with me and he would rehearse in the house. And you could hear the cello music throughout the house. It was so cool. It was so cool. Very cool. Yeah. See, I didn't know if the symphony could top the Vienna Boys Choir, but it sounds like they might be able to do it. With well, Zul has been a, a semi-regular over the years, and mm -hmm. he just blows the roof off. I mean, he is so talented. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, good. Well, that will be coming up before you know it. And we're running out of time, but I know you wanted to mention that Wyland Art Gallery. Yes, my good friend Wyland is back in town. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Wy. And he's one of the most fabulous marine artists in the world today. Mm -hmm. You know, he's done a hundred whaling walls across the world, from the from the big wall of China down to the down under, and even here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's just an amazing guy. And what kills me about him, he just knocks it out. And, he, and in his big gallery on Duval, he actually performs for the crowd. He he paints the painting for the crowd. I mean, it's, I've never seen an artist do mm -hmm. this before. How cool is that to be able to actually see the artist creating? And he's talking to you. And mm -hmm. I mean, while mm -hmm. he's painting, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, bam, wham, bam, there it is. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Just like that. It's mm -hmm. done. All right. Well, that is going to do it for us this morning, everyone. Tom, it's always a pleasure having it's you here. It's always a pleasure, my Jenna. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? It, anyway, it's uh, always oh. a pleasure mm -hmm. having you guys tune in. I hope you all have a great weekend. Join us back here Tuesday morning at and 7 a.m. and 8 30 a.m. Tom will be back with me on Friday. Yes <laughs> and I will see you out there out and about. It'll be okay.